What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually starting this video at four o'clock and it's kind of late and it's gonna get dark in about 15 minutes, but my dad just got here and he's in the C63. So I'm super hyped to check that out. And I just wanted to take you guys along because I know you guys have been waiting for that. Went to the grocery store though and got some stuff. Just got a couple things I needed, some ground beef. About to make some food. I hate to start the vlog like this because I'm in a complete rush. It just gets dark so early that I want to be able to have daylight when we go take the car out. That's the worst part about winter is just, it's not day, there, there's no daylight. Hi. How's it going? Okay, ready for your 18 foot tree. Yeah, uh-huh. Look at the size. <laughs> they give them kind of an update so we can just talk about it and they can listen. Oh. But, so say what you were saying. It's just different than stock. You, you are barely giving it any throttle, and you can tell the the uh, bypass valve for boost is open. What's a bypass valve? There's that bypass. It's basically like a blow off valve. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, so when the car's under vacuum, it opens up that door, and it doesn't create any boost. Yeah, so it feels weird. You said? Well, because the minute you. Just give it a little bit of gas, that thing starts to close, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I have a lot more power. Yeah. So it, it, it drives really smooth. I'm super happy with it. Yeah. But it's it's different a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? It'd be smart. Definitely. And then next year, build the, the training. training out and mail it to those guys. Cause so then could you use the same tune without having to pay for a new one? Or once you build the training, is that going to be obsolete? No, once the tranny, it won't change the tune. Oh, that's good. Because the, the tranny is basically just more clutch packs, uh, better drum, and better better clutches. Yeah, true. So the tune will still benefit it, though, is what I'm saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. benefit yeah. the new tranny as well. Yeah, well, should we go for a rip before it gets dark? Sure. Yesterday, Camilla texted me. It was 3.50, and it said sunset was in, like, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Can we pop the hood real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the front cover on yet. Because I need to modify it. I need a better cut off. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good though. Dang. It looks like it's factory. Yeah. Like the way all this is routed and the way you did all that, it looks actually really clean. Yeah, everything tucked in nice does not yeah once you put that front cover on too it no, won't look modified at all on and it covers all this part of the motor up it's, yeah it's gonna look cool yeah you want to start it <sighs> it definitely winds it, ha it just has like a different sound it does like when you first started, I heard it. Yeah, well, you'll hear it driving in it. Dang. Yeah, let's go. Listen to it. 
<laughs> the backfires are crazy. Yeah, it backfires more and it's cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the hardest I've got on it. First time we got on it with the supercharger. And this is a 6 PSI pulley and they say that's around 580 wheel. 589 was what I saw on yeah. the dyno. On a similar car. Yeah, and then with the 7, it goes 7. No, seven. 8. 6, 8, and then they now have a 9. Yeah, and then with, but the one you sent me, the 8 PSI pulley. I have the 8 PSI, six, I saw 644. Yeah, yeah. And that's wheel. Yeah. And I don't. Is that on E85? No. Oh my god. No. So the only thing we have to do for E85 though. Oh, here's a little tunnel. It's gonna have to get. Yeah, um, no, no. It's gonna have to get uh, new, new fuel, fuel pumps. pumps. Yeah. And bigger injectors probably. Yeah. So that'll be after the tranny build. Like the car could come from factory like this and it would feel like insanely fast, but it wouldn't feel like it. Like it didn't like, belong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The next thing we're gonna have to do is pull the tranny, send the tranny in. Well, I'm gonna do that tune for the transmission, TCU tune. Yeah. I'm gonna check on that uh, Monday morning, see if I can't order that, get that right away. Cause I really think getting more clamping force on this tranny, the way it is, is just a great idea. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it doesn't adversely affect the new build at all. It helps. Well, I remember so, a guy getting on it in a WRX right by your God. house one time. I was with your mom in here, and this guy just shit on me because he had all-wheel drive, and was yeah. just gone. And I got on it, broke him loose, and let off, and went, yep, you won. Yeah, then you uh, just don't go anywhere. Um, but you think it'll light up these tri our triple eights? No, I don't think it can break them loose. Yeah. yeah. I want to see it happen. I do, too. Okay, now you get to drive it. It's nice because you own a C63, so seeing what you're. Holy shit. What your you just opinion feel is. it barely cracked and it's. Yeah, you just touch the throttle and it's yeah. like. Okay, that's why when I first started driving it, I was like, okay, I can tell something's up here. And it's right at that just bare throttle. Yeah. Jesus, that was not even on purpose. I, that was 100% not on purpose. And it right. Just, that it yeah. wasn't full throttle. Yeah. Yet I could feel the speed. Well, we talked about this when we were down in Scottsdale that, well, the new car, then let's supercharge it because yeah. we've always wanted to drive one. I know. We finally got to drive a supercharged C63. Yeah, exactly. That, ooh, this Honda wants it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. that was the thing is like, we were. he was talking about getting an M2, but no matter what, we were always like, want the itch to drive a supercharged C63. Yep. I thought that we went over a bump. It no. Was a I know, it just backfires so much. 
Yeah, I love the way it drives. Yeah, I do too. Really happy with it. Yeah. I did read stuff where, you know, ESS was complimented on their tune. And yeah, definitely. I definitely can yeah, vouch, vouch, for that. vouch for that and agree with it, you know. Super nice kit. Yeah. You know, the O-ring issue was a little weird on the injectors, but as soon as I got those other O-rings... Oh, yeah, so they never really heard why oh. it took so long. That's what it was. It was the injectors... The top O-ring that goes into the fuel rail yeah. was too large in diameter on the inside. Yeah. And so they didn't seal in the rail, and we had a fuel leak, and they wound up sending us other O-rings, and... Boom, problem solved. He's leaving. <laughs> oh my God. Sounds good. My neighbors are gonna hate me. Leave. <laughs> Love you. My God, my neighbors are gonna kill me. I guarantee, I'm, I'm gonna get a complaint at some point before I leave here. He left, so I'm gonna make some food now because I'm starving. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the car. It's actually, I don't know if the video is gonna do it justice, but it rips. To be honest, I think it's gonna shit on the 135. I think it will, unfortunately. Might be time to go E85 and for more boost so I can, so that I can keep up. But yeah, that car has so much potential. I mean, we were getting on it, but we weren't like pushing it to its limits. That thing is so much potential. Um, I mean, the build is still so fresh that you don't want to just beat on it. But once we do, it'll be crazy. I want to get a really good burnout clip too. Just light up those Archer plates. Just made some food. And I'm about to watch TJ Hunt. His newest video, he sold his Aventador, which is crazy. I thought it was going to be another joke or clickbait, but then I saw Sheepy Race posted it on Instagram that they bought it, so I was, like, shocked. So I'm actually excited to watch this video. I'm on my way to Camilla's now, and I'm going to go pick up the Christmas tree. I was going to get a real one and put it on my car and make a video doing it, but it's not going to happen. I'm just going to get a fake Christmas tree. Uh, she has one that I can use, so I'm going to go there, but I got to pick up some sour cream first and then go there. back from the store and got more groceries. You're gonna like the tree. I suck at it. I suck at it. I got these, these pine cones. They smell so good. And the little blanket. Now, Christmas is over, you have to use this instead of the pink one. Wait. Yes. Oh, it doesn't matter. My first Christmas tree by myself. It actually looks good from here. In the video, it looks way better. Not way better, it does look good, but like. It's cute. Yeah, it actually turned out good. Put a little throw on the Yeah, I know, I need something the down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should just wrap that around the bottom. <laughs> should I? Try. See what it looks like. I don't know if plaid is the tree vibe. Well, it's Christmas. <laughs> May not be tree vibes, but it's better than nothing. It doesn't look bad. Better than it was. <laughs> it's cute. Huh. 
Yeah, like Camilla said, I kind of ran out of lights at the bottom, so I should get one more string. I think it would make it look a lot better, but it's good enough. And then I have all these scented pine cones, so I took them and hung them on the inside of the tree, so then it makes the tree smell like cinnamon, but it's Christmassy. Now we got the Let It Glow candle, eggnog. Oh, we gotta throw that garbage bag away. We need to close out this vlog though. It kind of sucked. What was the vlog? Um, I just showed him my dad's car. There's an update on it, driving it too. Camille just filmed the entire outro basically and didn't press record the whole time. You know how embarrassing that is? Like, it's one thing talking to a camera that's live, it's another thing when you talk to a camera and then it ends up not being live. And you have to repeat it all. And then I have to repeat it all. But, anyways, what I was saying was. We're gonna watch our show. Yes, we're about to watch a show, and it's called The Challenge. The Challenge. It's on MTV, and I've never seen it, but Camille says it's like Survivor, but they're not in the wilderness. They just do like the challenges and stuff. Um, and but they live in a house. Thank you for watching this video. I apologize there wasn't a ton of content in it, but I was just showing you guys what's going on. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a like, turn on post notifications, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.